Dr. Yoris, thank you so much for your time here at Amsterdam Dance Event. I'm very excited to learn more about you today. I'm Anna from Soundtrack Music and UFO Network. And let's start with the interview. Yeah, sure. So your musical journey is very often linked to Rotterdam, but you're actually from Tilburg. Do you have any like a uh, fun fact or like a hidden memory about Tilburg that you would like to share with us? I think there was not so much happening music-wise. I mean, there was there was a big music scene, but it was more rock music. So I was in, really into rock music when I was a teenager. And then electronic music was had a very small footprint in, in my city. But also when when I left the city, I was uh, that was kind of the moment I really got into electronic music. And much later, I ended up in Rotterdam, and that's kind of where my music uh, career like took off. But uh, I've been li living in Amsterdam for the last 15 years, so I remember not so much about Rotterdam. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that <laughs> with us. Uh, so photography is a very big hobby of yours and a passion. You've also incorporated your photography in your album artwork. Mm -hmm. And could you share about like the story behind the artworks, especially Nobody Knows? Yeah, Nobody Knows. I shot um, the artwork while being on a trip in California, in the US. I don't know, it was like all the artwork was shot on that one trip and it was beautiful surroundings and, and, and amazing nature elements. And I don't know, I just felt like all these photos together, they, they really captured the spirit of the music I was making at the, at the time. And I did all the grading myself and I didn't really know what I was doing, so it, it was pretty wild. I, I did a lot of things that you're not supposed to do as a photographer. But it made the artwork look, I think, quite dreamy in a way, um, because I didn't really know how to properly grade <laughs> within uh, Lightroom, which is the program I used. So that was a very nice way of expressing uh, not only myself with music, but also visually. That is wonderful. And I mean, the artwork is amazing. Thank you. So your background is actually in interior design. Yeah, basically, yeah. Your studies and like work background. How has that impacted your music career, your performances? Does it have an impact? And if what, which? I don't think my, um, my, my interior design career, which was very short-lived because I only worked as an architect or an interior designer for two years. I don't know if it had a big impact on my music. Maybe in some way, aesthetically, I feel that I like a certain spaciousness in my music, but it's very hard to co make a correlation between between dance music or electronic music and um, and architecture. On the other hand, I know a lot of architects really enjoy listening to electronic music. Maybe also because it's kind of the aesthetic that is somewhat similar. You know, of, of course, one thing is visual, the architecture and music is more an emotional thing, but sometimes uh, electronic music can be quite abstract as well. And I think that's kind of where these two things can be combined and meet each other. Does your background in interior design affect your photography? Oh, for sure, definitely. I think that's something a bit more obvious because with photographs, you're trying to capture something. And I think you always look at the composition. I like to take a lot of snapshots, meaning I just hold the camera and, and don't think too much about the picture. It's not like I'm standing for one minute trying to capture things in the best way. Like it's, it's sometimes half a second or maybe a few seconds. So in that sense, there's not so much thought behind it, but it is more like a, like a feeling about a certain aesthetic that I like about something and positioning of elements or people within the, the picture. Very nice. <laughs> in your latest album, Four, you really go into the four to the floor theme a lot, like the concept of it. What does it mean to you as an artist? And like, why did you really want to get into that with your album? Well, I'm, I, th I think first and foremost, I'm a dance music uh, artist, DJ, uh, producer. So for me, it's kind of important to play the music that, I'm, that I write. Back in the days, it wasn't so much. I was just making music that I enjoyed and I liked. And I didn't care so much or didn't think about how it would sound on the dance floor. But for my last album, I did really try to write music that works on the dance floor a lot more. And I'm doing the same for my latest, for the album that I'm working on right now. I'm um, trying to make music that not only speaks to the heart, but also speaks to the, to the feet. Wonderful. We enjoy dancing to your music a lot. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so as a really inspiring figure and like a very big name in dance music and production, do you have any advice for new and upcoming producers, like how to find their way in the scene? Yeah, sure. I, you know, I think the most important thing always is that you stay uh, 
in a way true to yourself but for if, when you're a young producer maybe you don't really know what your sound is but i think you know you should always follow your heart and follow your ears as well and try to really do something that makes you feel something and doesn't and just don't do it for the likes on your social media or um what uh, to please other people too much of course you should make music that has a big reach you know like it's nice to to, to make music that other people enjoy and listen to and can dance to um but i think in the end it's really trying to to find what you really stand for what you really believe in and it can be a combination of so many things also don't try to, to to just stick to one genre you know because now you might like a certain sound of like melodic techno or something but maybe next year that sound is already over people have moved on to something else so always like think ahead a little bit and look at the big picture and try to take what you enjoy the most and make that your your own wonderful thank you so much for that insight and we're looking forward to your new album then thank you so much